Okay, I'm going to make what's known uh, as, um, sometimes it's called pine cone or pineapple. Um, but what you want to do is get a uh, some palms that are four leaves attached together. Okay, so there, there are four leaves attached together. All right, you're going to keep them together at the bottom uh, and then separate them. Uh, so you keep it together at the bottom and make a, a um, to make a stem and then you will carefully separate the leaves. It's okay if it splits like that. Okay, so that you have four leaves together. Um, this basically is the same as making uh, lanyards, if you've ever done that, um, but, you know, in your past. Um, also, it, it is helpful to cut the spindly tips off because they, they tend to get in the way. <clears throat> so, uh, and you know, any little strings can also be removed. So that your tips are not too stringy and thin, um, that it'll will help when you uh, start feeding these layers through. <clears throat> the first two layers are the hardest. Okay, so <clears throat> you start at the bottom where you have the stem with the leaves attached, okay? You're going to take your two middle leaves and you're going to uh, flip them so that they're going in opposite directions. All right. And basically what you're going to do is make like a, a basket weave. So you're going to take one leaf from one side and cross it over so that it goes over one and under the other, right? <clears throat> and then you want the leaf from the other side to come through. And the, the trick here is it, it needs to also go over the side leaf and under the other, but it should come out under <clears throat> between these two right here, between these two, so that it locks them in. <clears throat> If you come out um, this way, that it locks them in. If you go the other way, if I had, uh, in other words, if I had gone over this one and under this one, this would have been loose, and it, rather than locking it in, uh, the the layers would not stay together. All right. Like I said, this is the hardest part. So what you're making here. Eh, in essence is a small basket weave little box right <clears throat> okay now at this point you can you just continue to do that um, coming from one side and the other side right and you're gonna go over and under And then take the other one from the other side, over and under, All right? And each layer needs to do the same thing and lock together, right? Each layer, right? 
Um, and you just keep on doing the same thing over and over again, right? Take the, this side, that side. over and under and the other leaf and, and this is why I cut the little spindly tips off because they're um, hard to feed through so you want a, you know a little bit of body to the leaf um, in order to feed it through. Try to keep your leaves flat as you're doing this. All right, and at each layer, layer you're going to tighten it up so that it, uh, so that it stays together. All right. Doesn't matter which direction you go, as just as long as the four pieces are doing this over and under, under interlocking um, pattern. Okay. And then, if you see from the side, you'll see that it's it's starting to make us a little kind of pyramid structure. Now this is the straight one, right? Um, so if you just keep on doing this over and over again until the uh, the pyramid starts to get smaller and the leaves get uh, smaller, um, they, you know, it, it will taper as the leaf tapers down, right? So that's basically how you do these. Okay. And <clears throat> this gets easier as you uh, make more layers. The base holds together easier, and uh, it will um, it it will come together much easier. So you see, it's just building up as you go, right? So you see that that as you go along that makes this kind of pyramid. Now when you get to the point where you want to finish it off, there's several ways you can finish it. Um, I like to just tie these ends together. You can actually leave them loose like this. It will will um, it will stay. Um, and uh, the you know the or you can try to uh, you know weave them back in. Um, 
there's there's a few things you can do here. So Like I said, you can leave them loose like that. They will, they they'll stay as long as it's uh, pretty tight. So this is basically what it looks like when it's done. All right. Uh, the variation on this I'm going to do in the next video. Um, it's the same pattern, <clears throat> but it makes a, kind of a spiral um, and looks more like a, a pineapple. All right.